welcome once again to Free Lick Friday. This is our third installment of this new series and you guys seem to be enjoying it from the comments that have been left. Um, I, I'd, li I'd like to continue to ask you to, to keep commenting and let me know what you, what you want. I'm actually, I'm using the black one today because uh, I had a few comments requesting me use this in some of these, so I I am listening to your comments and I do want your requests, I want your suggestions, I want your feedback. So, you know, leave me a comment and let me know what you think, let me know what I should change, what I should keep the same, you know, whatever you think about it. Alright, so this week's lick, here we go, I'm going to play it for you. Uh, let's check it out. <laughs> Alright, it's kind of short, it's kind of, uh, I, I, I came up with it when I was just fiddling around. And it's kind of, it's kind of got a little country vibe to it. It's, uh, I've got the overdrive on so it can be used in like a rock or a blues, uh, setting. Or, you know, country's starting to use a lot, some overdrive too. But, um, but it is in the key of G major. <laughs> Which is the chord that we're hitting at the end there, um, and uh, it's very cool. It's you can play it quick or you can play it slow, and it sounds good either way. All right, so let's get a close up and check out how to play this lick. All right, so here we go. We are starting out on the second fret of the G string, which is an A note, and we are picking, then hammering on, to the fourth fret of the same string, and then sliding up to the fifth fret. So that's kind of a cool, It's it's got a little roll feel to this lick. So pick, hammer on, slide. And then we were going to the third fret of the B string. And then we we're coming straight back down what we just did. Oops. So that's just up and down. Pulling off after we do that to give an open string, then going to the fourth fret of the D string, then to second fret G string, and then open G string. And then going into a G chord. And I've been doing some my G chords, I've actually been doing them um, second finger, top string third and fourth fingers on the two bottom strings and not using this finger. I kind of like the sound without without that that uh, extra B note in there. So, it sounds good with both, but I, just, I like the simplicity of that one. So here we go again. This one you can also do it with a pick or without a pick. Just keep your thumb on your G string, your first finger on your second string, your B string. And then when you go down to the D string, you move, you adjust, put your thumb on the D, and then your first finger on the G string. Or you could hybrid pick where you're picking. You hybrid pick that that note with your one of these fingers that it doesn't have. A and the same thing, you adjust, you go down, you move your pick to the D string when you get to this note, and then you pick with your finger those last that last note, and then pull off. 
this is a good one for a little bit of alternate picking, hammer on, slide, pull off, hybrid picking, finger picking. This one is good for, I mean, this is a pretty cool lick, I think. I like, I like <laughs> So there we have it. As I said before, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this lesson series, how it's going, what should change, what should stay the same, what you like about it, and also let me know what you think about this lick in particular. Um, I'm using my black one, Strat. I used a Tech 21 Liverpool uh, pedal, which is essentially an AC30, a Vox AC30 in a pedal. It's running into my Line 6 UX2 Studio into my MacBook and the MacBook, I've got like a little delay, a little reverb added to it. All of the amp sound comes from the Tech 21 Liverpool. If you like the way this sounds, which I love it, you should definitely check those out. Alright, check me out next week. Peace.